Hi guys, Piotr here, the Slide Finance Global YouTube channel, and it's my pleasure to be with you again. Today we are going to discuss the, the price action uh, with the uh, small twist um, as you are keep asking how uh, you can filter, especially at the beginning of your, uh, of your journey uh, with the price action, how can you filter uh, some moves. So uh, previously we were discussing VUIP. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, that maybe Bollinger Band is going to be the, uh, the way for you to go. Of course, as usual guys, you have to do your own research, you have to do your own homework. You have to do plenty of tests to check if this one is going to be suitable for yourself. You have to answer uh, the question what kind of the trader you are. We are going to discuss um, the, the price action with uh, in a with the addition of the Bollinger Band and we are going to discuss based on the uh, early chart uh, so I wouldn't say it's gonna be for super active uh, and aggressive traders uh, rather for some uh, as some conservative uh, approach well the thing is uh, that um, if you were already uh, if you are looking for uh, information in regards to the Bollinger Band uh, many of them are suggesting that uh, if we are, for example, and that's the Bollinger Band, and if we are, for example, uh, hitting the level um, above, right, Bollinger Band, like this, it might be good to sell, all right? Or if we are hitting below the Bollinger Band, right, it might be good uh, to buy, right? Uh, no, uh, it's not gonna work that way in the long run. Uh, in the long run, you are going to be, you are going to be uh, in a danger position. Let me tell you that way. All right. So, uh, what's uh, what's the best uh, approach when it comes to uh, to the Bollinger Band? Uh, well, from the higher time frame perspective, uh, we have to have a trend. That's the thing. So here is a cable, all right? Uh, we have a cable here, and I would say we are not going to discover America, but we are in a strong downtrend on a higher time frame, right? So what I'm looking for uh, on a lower time frame, what, what is in my interest. Uh, what I'm interested in uh, is to find uh, the levels I might be interested to sell. I've got few of them already uh, placed here, all right? Uh, so it's gonna be just not to bore you too much. Uh, what is all what is all about? So as usual, I'm interested in uh, what is going on when it comes to the price action. I like to know where we have. Uh, the levels where some kind of the demand might be visible and if I'm going to apply Bollinger Band I would like to see uh, the break to the downside because don't forget from the higher time frame we are going down right now we are approaching level of the demand so I want to see the break of that level with the expansion of the Bollinger Band right I want to see the the wider Bollinger Band after some period of the consolidation. So in that case, in that particular case over here, that's what we uh, that's what we have. Oops, just just a second. Okay, so that's what we have here, especially with the combination of the close below as well as the move of the Bollinger Band. So mid Bollinger Band uh, is going in our direction. Then we have the expansion. So meaning that after the breakdown, we are ready to move lower. So in that case, in that case, uh, that's my approach. Uh, that's where I'm after the breakdown. That's very, very important. The close uh, below the support possible demand zone number one. Number two, we have the Bollinger Band move. We have this uh, expansion and the direction of the trend from the higher time frame. So in that case, 
that's the level after the breakdown where I'm going where I'm interested in the short position with my stop above the above the level uh, above the high of the pre breakdown all right and usually as you know me I'm targeting 3R now of course it's not going to happen each and every time. It's not a holy grail. It's not gonna work 100% of the time. So I have to have also uh, the way I wanna exit in case uh, market is not doing what was expected from the market to do, all right? Uh, so I, I have to be prepared if I'm still on the market, my stop is in place, but the market is not doing what was supposed to do. I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you in a second. Here, uh, my way of the approach would be like this. That was the distance between the entry and the stop. So one, two, and three. So I, I was, let's say that way. I was uh, filled with the target price here you may want to try to let it run for example right uh, again you have to answer what kind of the trader you are I know that three R for me uh, is quite good to go another example here on the cable consolidation uh, even with the fake over here market was trying to rally but then boom one candle right there is a move when it comes to the Bollinger, we are widening, we are expanding. So that's uh, the way to try to go, uh, to try to go uh, with the short position again. Uh, in that case, that would be the distance between the entry and the and the stop. All right, and there we go. One, two, and as you can see it wasn't full 3R here. So I've mentioned before, I'm going to tell you eventually if I'm still on the market, but market, I, I it was like few pips, right? Uh, if you are monitoring uh, constantly, then probably this candle, close of that candle would be your exit, all right? Or you may want to apply the rule that if you are going to close, above the midline in the opposite direction and you are still on the market that could be your that could be your exit uh, exit point all right so either strong reversal um, right because it was just few pips shy of them of the target and market reversed strongly or close above the uh, the mid the midline all right there was another example over here uh quiet long in time consolidation uh just the reminder is the early chart so quiet long consolidation uh over here and breakdown right and breakdown the thing is that in that particular case of course the timing is also important you don't want to trade uh, you don't want to trade uh, close of the new york pre tokyo open uh, but anyway, this one would be stopped out as you can see, but then the next break to the downside over here would produce uh, another 3R if I'm not mistaken. That would be the distance and that would be the one, two and almost three. So that's that's the cable. Uh, I've got a few more examples uh, when it comes to the strategy on the euro dollar as well. Again, what you wanna have, you want to have, uh, you want to have uh, the trend from the higher time frame. You wanna have the trending market. So, uh, for example, uh, the pairs which are usually uh, in a tendency to the uh, to the range. That's not in your interest. You wanna have strong move uh, and you want to go with that flow on a lower time frame like here on uh, on the euro dollar over here right 
after the strong break to the downside, okay, after the strong break to the downside, uh, it was like uh, obvious uh, that the market uh, got the big appetite uh, to, go, to go lower. Uh, so from that perspective, guys, you have to, uh, you have to uh, do your own test. You have to do your own homework. You have to prepare yourself and you have to test quite, uh, quite a few times uh, before you are going to risk real money. Check if it's work for yourself. So that was another possible filter uh, you can try to add into the uh, trading arsenal with the uh, price action trading. Hopefully you like it. So please leave the like, leave this, uh, please subscribe to the channel, leave the comment, leave the question in the comment section. With that being said, wish you great next trading session. Thank you very much. Take care. Goodbye. Stay safe.